What's going on everyone? This is Jay from Premier Gaming Entertainment here to bring to you a video today. Hope everyone is having a great weekend so far. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing to you my predictions for the 2021 season for Michigan football. And um, before I get started with that, I just want to thank everybody for showing love to me for, on the previous video that I did last week. Um, glad to be back. Thank you everyone that wished me, you know, Welcome me back. I really appreciate it. Um, if you can leave a like on the video, it would definitely help me out so much. Um, you know, I'm trying to get back into this, and all the support I can get is much appreciated. So, let's get started with it. First of all, um, I'm really excited about this season. We're going into, what, season seven with Harbaugh. Um, you know, obviously, last season was season to forget. Um, we'll just call it a mulligan if you want to call it that. And um, as I said in the previous video, I think this season is going to be a lot different and a lot better than the previous season. Uh, I think we're going to su surprise a lot of people with our play this year. Uh, can't get much worse than what it was last year. And I think that the team is going to be much more motivated and um, just better prepared this year than they were last year. Let's face it, last year the team was just going through the motions, didn't really want to be out there, didn't really want to play, and it showed with their effort on the field. Plus, injuries did play a factor in it, um, but even with the injuries, you could see that the talent, while being there, just was not tapped into, wasn't developed properly, and we had guys that were walk-ons that were playing in key positions last season, which is unacceptable. So, I think things are going to be much different this year. Um, you know, this is going to be make, make it or break it for Harbaugh. I know he got an extension on his contract, but I don't think that matters. I think, you know, this season is basically show us something or hit the door and we got to get off to a great start in the season um, looking at the schedule uh, the front end of the schedule seems like it's gonna be very winnable the back half looks pretty brutal so uh, we, we gotta come out you know swing and win at least I would say the first five out of six games or six out of seven games to, you know, stand a chance of having a decent season. You know, I'm being optimistic. Like I said, I think we're going to do better than what most people think. Um, you know, I would say, you know, top end, it's a possibility that we could, you know, win nine games low end we could win as little as six games so it all depends on you know how well we've developed our talent how well we've practiced and just how well we put everything together on game day so that's what I'm interested in seeing um, I know there's a lot of new faces in the coaching staff, especially on the defensive side of the f football. So it's going to be interesting to see how each one of those position coaches implements, you know, their their style of play, their philosophies, and everything into the system. You know, it was just it was time for Don Brown to go, as I said in the previous video, and. You know, obviously it was more than just Don Brown that had to go. And with these new faces, I want to know that it's just more than just these guys are good recruits. Or good recruiters, I should say. It's nice to know that they can recruit well, but can you coach? Can you get these guys to, you know, be in position? Can you get these guys to be motivated? I, you know... It's great to hear about how well that these guys can, you know, recruit in the South. But can you actually actually coach up these guys? Can you, 
Can you get their talent to be at least viable? I'm tired of hearing about these guys that are four and five star recruits and not living up to expectations. So that's what I'm interested in seeing. So I predict, just based off of the schedule that I see, I'm predicting eight and four. So I'll say right off the bat, our trip to Wisconsin is an automatic loss. That's a given. Then I also see also at the back end of the schedule, we're going to lose to Ohio. We're probably going to go on the road and lose to Penn State and probably lose to Indiana. So those are the four losses. Now you still have this Washington game and Northwestern that I think are going to be you know, those are iffy games. Those are 50-50 games that we could potentially lose to. That's why I said, you know, there's a chance that we could go 6-6. Six and six. But um, I would say right now the most important game is going to be the game versus Washington. Um, you know, before I get to that, you know, the first game versus West Michigan, um, it'll be a good indication of, you know, where we're at. You know, how well we're going to play, how well the defense is, has the offense improved. That's going to be a good test. If we struggle and it's a real close game, then it's going to be a long season. But it's definitely going to come to, we're really going to know by the second game. And it's just like last season, I remember when we played Minnesota and we, we quote unquote played well. And I was like, nah, I don't know. You know, people were singing Joe's praises like he was the next Cam Newton. I just uh, thought he just played okay. And then look what happened for the rest of the season. So, can't really gauge anything by the first game because, you know, all the teams are kind of fig trying to figure themselves out. So, I can't necessarily go by that. It's really going to be by the second game we're really going to know whether or not this team is legit. And it's going to be real important for us to play well. Um, you know, from what I heard, Damani Jackson is going to be actually there on campus for the game, for his official visit. So who knows? I know he's already officially, you know, a USC guy, but... Who knows, things can happen, he may flip, you know, who knows. But if we lay an egg, he definitely will not even consider us. But if we play well, you know, we win, who knows, maybe it might change his mind, I don't know. But that's a very important game. And like I said, first few games, if we get off to a hot start, we win all those games, you know, it's definitely going to put less pressure on us on the back end. You know, if you're going to the bye week and you're, say, um, four, and, four and two or, you know, you're three and three or something like that, and then you got all these tough games at the end of the schedule, that's, that's going to be rough. But if you, say, go into that five and one, then you know, this, the rest of the season may not seem as bad. So like I said, I'm predicting 8-4 for the season. We go to a bowl game. we got to win the bowl game. I mean, it was it been like three, four seasons in a row that we lost the bowl game. So we got to win the bowl game. You know, and it's going to be interesting to see what happens. As far as with Harbaugh, I'm going to make another video probably uh, in the next couple of days, if not tomorrow, uh, with my thoughts on Harbaugh. Um, and it's going to, you know, just breaking down this whole thing with the recruiting and things of that nature. I'm going to be talking about that in the next video that I make. But um, I'm going to be back to making videos on a consistent basis, so look out for that. Um, you know, back to making my prediction video and then my 
um, my analysis and takeaway video after the game. So be looking out for that. Probably at least three videos a week, if not more, if I can. Just depends on how busy I am. Um, you know, we'll determine how many videos. I'll do. But it's going to at least be two, sometimes three. So anyways, thank you for watching the video. Uh, look out for another video probably in the next couple of days. If you like the video, definitely feel free to leave a like on the video. Um, definitely, you know, um, try to share this video with as many people as possible. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. What do you think their record is going to be this year? You think it's going to be, you know, 8-4, and 9-3? Is it going to be higher than that, lower than that? Let me know in the comment section below how well you think that we're going to fare this season. And uh, if you like my content, definitely subscribe to the channel. And as always, thank you for watching the video, and go blue.